Flash in the pan pay dirt, five grams of gold guarantee. My biggest purchase yet in my young prospecting career. That's five grams of gold guaranteed. Intermediate level panning difficulty. Natural unsearched pay dirt from gold bearing sources in California, Wyoming, Oregon, and Nevada. This is the Nugget Jar. Hey everybody, welcome to Occasional Outlaw. I'm Jeff, I'll be your host today. Today we're gonna crack into the Nugget Jar from Flash in the Pan. See if I can get that puppy opened up. He's got it taped up pretty good. And it came double bubble wrapped, inner and outer. Very nice, secure, no issues. Pour it in this pan and have a look at it. See that silver already. Look at that, man, that is nice. Nice marble rock there, granite, marble. One of the two, I'll figure it out. It looks clean, but I'll save it to rinse later. I'm gonna go through it twice, once dry, once wet. Or when we're doing the second round on the wet tailings, I'll rinse that in. Let's have a peek here at some of these rocks. Some crystal there, or some, uh, Ooh, that's breaking apart. Oh, that's smooth, nice and smooth. River rock. That's a cool looking rock. Starting to rock out a little. Saw some big chunks of that silver. That's nice. Sweet. Another cool rock. Same rock. <laughs> That's different. Looking for the big fat nugget to jump out at me. A five gram jug. You're thinking maybe there's a big nugget in there. It's at the bottom. Let's get that silver out of the way as we find it. Help on the pan and see what this looking what we're looking like at magnetics. Probably can hear some of that. It's not terrible. I'm not even going to fool with it anymore. I rarely do, unless it's just super, super black, and I know it's going to be terrible. I'll run through for some of the magnetics just to help in the panning process. Let me get this classified and ready to pan. We'll go through it together. I'll be right back. I've got this jug from Flash in the Pan, the Nugget Jar, classified. You know, I didn't weigh that. I don't know what that weighed. I'm gonna say it was around three pounds of pay dirt in there. So I went ahead and went through it with the magnet. I've got it classified all the way down to minus 30, which we're gonna start with. I've got the plus 10, uh, minus 10 plus 20, and the minus 20 plus 30 over here. I went ahead and went through it with a magnet. Once I got it classified, I looked at it a little closer. I thought, man, there may be some magnetics in there, and there was a fair amount. So that'll just getting that out of there makes it easier on the panning. Let's get started today with the minus 30. How about some water? A little more than what I've got in the pan. That'll be fine. A little piece of gold up there, which is good. I didn't want to find everything in one classification, so this is very nice. Cool. Nice looking gold. You see those two pickers showing up there? I think they're pickers. They are. And they just got picked. Double back on that one and make sure one didn't slide out on me. So yeah, over at Flash in the Pan, it's a family run thing. The wife and kids help and they run a fair business, like I said.
Yeah, there's a nice chunk there. See that popping up right there? Yeah. A couple pieces there. A few pieces there. Several pieces there. Cannot pick that one up. It was close. Several pickers. We got you. Nice pan there. Let's run that back through. Make sure one didn't slip by my keen eye. Oh, shiny. Let's pick through here because as you can see already, look at that nugget. We'll put that on the scale separate. That's a nice little specimen there. Well over a gram, maybe pushing gram and a quarter, gram and a half. It feels heavy, and look how pretty that gold is. That is a nice nugget. Oh, yeah. Another nice nugget. A little smaller, but indeed pretty. Look at that. Flash in the pan, pay dirt. Five gram nugget, or five gram nugget jar. And see these type of nuggets like here, if you don't know, let's say you're reselling your gold. And the honest truth is something like I do. If you go to resell your gold, you're probably going to get 90% at best. Um, and that's just the honest truth. But that's on your flower flake, uh, smaller gold. On these big nuggets like this, you can actually get a premium where you're at 72, maybe 75 bucks a gram. Or more depending on the nugget so yeah the bigger nuggets are a little are worth more I suspect there's some more gold in here somewhere take the silver off that's a nice chunk of silver do y'all see that I don't see that big chunk like that every day crystalline silver I believe Another nice piece of that silver. Silver. Yeah. I like to do with that silver is sometimes I'll throw it in to that hiding from me in there. Nice little another nugget. Let's go ahead and grab that. Very that is, I'm gonna tell you what, that is a solid, shiny, big fat. That's just a heavy fat nugget there. Hope to find several of those when I go prospecting in New Mexico. There we go. There's the miss. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at I missed in the pan. Of course, I was just glancing, knowing I was going to pan it. But look at that silver and gold. Silver and gold. I can't help but think about you, Con Cornelius. 
silver and gold. Yeah. Pickers. Run that one more time just to be certain. That's why we run it again. See that? Yeah. Okay, been through this jug, the nugget jar, flash in the pan pay dirt, and it was a lot of fun. That turned out to be a lot of fun. So let me start with that nugget. Earlier you heard me say that might be a gram and a quarter, gram and a half. It's more than that. I misjudged that. Another nugget there that isn't bad in its own right, a little smaller. And that is just a solid chunk right there, man. That's a heavy piece of gold for the size. And then out of my minus 10 plus 20, and then just a couple of little pieces out of the minus 20, nothing in the minus 30. One little speck I think I got out of that minus 30. Piece of wire gold in there. Nice amount of silver. Nice big chunks of that crystalline silver. I'll have to ask around the community. I'm ordering a furnace and I'm gonna do some silversmithing. Can I melt that silver down into anything? I don't know, I'll find out. Cool rocks, cool ass rocks, rounded river rocks. That's granite or marble granite, I think. Uh, river rock, some quartz or something close to it. Very cool. Some smaller different kinds of quartzes. Let's see if we can move this scale into view and take a look at these weights. And if I can bring this in a little closer, let's put this first one on, this first nugget. Two point six five gram nugget. That's the biggest nugget I have now. Previously, the record was 1.65 for me personally. I have a nice nugget from Gold Nugget Sales that is really awesome. So I'll add that to the collection now of the bigger nuggets I have. 2.65 gram chunky nugget. Very nice from Flash in the Pan. Look how pretty it is. That is some pretty gold, man. That's just some damn pretty gold, man. Nice and shiny. Tell you what, let's put that together in the boat and see what my total is. Five point two four. That is a nice jar of gold. I was promised five, and I got over that, well over that. Five point two four. Let me see if I can. If y'all can see that. 5.24. So if you're here at the end with me, looking at this nugget of gold that I got from Flash in the Pan, I want you to email me and tell me, hey Jeff, 
that gram that chunk of gold was 2.65 grams and it's in your left hand if you email and email me and say Jeff or outlaw whatever butthead you can call me anything but say hey that 2.65 once again it's 2.65 chunk of gold that nugget it's in my left hand email me that I get that email I put your name in the hat for a cool prize on our next live how about you I'll see you guys later <laughs>